Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do a late night love reading guys. It's At least it's getting there outside, right? Um, yeah, so this is your late night love Cancer. Um, this reading is for the collective my darlings. It is not going to resonate with all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't. Not every story is for you guys, okay? Um, and um, thank you all so much. Cancers, oh my gosh, you guys are the best. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Together, we have grown this channel to over 25k, baby. 25 over 25,000 subscribers it's been like it's a, this was my dream and we're doing it together the divine leading us me as the instrument you guys as my backers and um just you know supporting me and being kind you know what i mean uh, we're all gathering together as a soul tribe and i i love that and the and the kids the kids because they're whizzes at the computer man I'm telling you so yeah all of us together we're just a team and I'm so proud of us all thank you kudos take a bow <laughs> all right cancers listen um if you like this video please go ahead click that like button subscribe to the channel help us grow um you know grow with us man join the team right and uh, this channel is for adults only, my darlings. Um, okay, so let's get started. First of all, your person feels like a donkey butt, right? A donkey butt, because they haven't communicated. There's been no communication here. They haven't laid everything out on the table yet. So, yeah, they're feeling, they're feeling um, very foolish, like a horse's fill in the blank, a horse's butt, um, because they haven't communicated. It's it's it, it, it it's been their choice. They've had time. It's not like you know what I mean. And something here, it, it, they're in kind of destructive mode right now. All right, um, this is demo. So something is coming to an end. Your person is ending it. Um, I feel they they are walking away from something here. It's this third party situation crap. Um, I feel like you guys are mirroring your energy because you're doing the same thing. You haven't, you walked away from this, right? Um, around that last lion's gate, you know, the lion's gate. So, because you understand the portal, you understand this energy and how it works. And, um, and you're taking your your cues from the divine they're telling you what to do you're and you're paying attention to the signs your person's only paying attention to you that's it just you uh -huh. they can't seem to pay attention to anything else but this connection nothing else but this connection okay but um yeah they are destroying something here something is getting demoed demolition guys my favorite used to love demoing um yeah and your person is walking away from this feeling betrayed maybe heartbroken okay They're, this is very painful they want to change this around here they want to change it around but i yeah, maybe they're fighting it something needs to come to an end here and i feel like your person is putting their foot down <laughs> Why I say that, I don't know. <sighs> I'm so talented, guys. Yeah, someone is putting their foot down. That took a lot. Um, yeah, that took your person a lot. I, that's a good message, actually. That took your person a lot to put their foot down wherever it is that they were. And I, I feel like they're walking away, but man... They, they got hurt in this okay I feel like they're going to sleep on somebody's couch they heard the calling too they heard the calling too your person's been getting messages um, this could very well be like I said a twin flame soulmate connection um, or it's a it's a very deep level soulmate connection okay either way your person cannot stop feeling this 
They can't stop thinking about it. And I feel like this is the divine up here going, come on, come on. Like, you know, like you're a couple baby ducks, right? You're very open to everything that they say. You're, you're totally paying attention to the divine. And your person's paying attention to you. Yeah, but they want to change this around. What more can you show me? You guys know I like the flash decks, right? I guess I should have said this. Yeah, this, this is a flash deck some, from some card game. Works for me, though. It works for me. I like reading weird things if you're new to the channel. <laughs> You'll find that out. Um, yeah. I did a tomato plant read that was awesome. I read cereal boxes. That's, I love that. That's a lot of fun. But anyway, yeah, they need to kick something to the, t to the curb. I think they did already. I, I do. I'm feeling off of this like your person has just walked away from this third party situation. It's been very emotional. Your person is crying. I'm seeing a lot of tears here. I'm seeing a lot of heartbreak here. Okay, and I feel like they're sleeping on somebody's couch. Like when they walked away, they walked away from freaking everything. This person, I, I, I think they just left everything there and left. Like for real. They, they, well, this person only has their cane with them. I feel like this has been a battle for your person. They're very weak right now. Um, yeah, and I can hear that too. You know, you guys are saying, well, they, they chose this, you know, or whatever. And yeah, they did. But this person needs to heal, okay? Um, and I feel like they did go to somebody's house, a friend's house maybe, and there's, they could be sleeping on the couch. This, this isn't going to be for everyone, so, but they have put their foot down and they demoed this, this other, um, relationship. That's what I'm seeing. They demoed it. They kicked it to the curb. Yeah. They, I don't know. I'm just seeing this as kicking something. Yeah. They kicked it to the curb, man. And they're, they're feeling very foolish now because they walked away from love. They walked away from this this high-level soulmate connection here. I mean, they kind of lost everything right now, and they're sleeping on somebody's couch. So they're not in a real good mood tonight. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fighting. They could still be fighting with the person that they're walking away from right now. Okay, I, I'm seeing a lot of fighting here. You know, I mean, look at how slumped over and, and, and weak they are. That, Like I said, it's almost like they've been through a fight. Yeah. Yeah, but they are keeping their foot down. This is demo time. But that takes a, a lot of fighting, you know, that <laughs> demo isn't easy. <laughs> you know. I love my cancers. All right. What else do we have? Yeah, well, I feel like there's a lot of fighting that's going down because of this player energy, too. Um, or this is your person maybe wanting to come in very quickly with a lot of passion for you. But um, clarify this Knight of Wands. I just want to clarify it. I just want to clarify Clarify the Knight of Wands for me, please, for Cancer and this late night love. Late night love reading here. Yeah, I feel like this person, they're, they're feeling trapped in their mind, I, you know, really wanting to get out of this situation. I feel like they've been stuck in this situation for quite some time. And I feel like they can't contain their passion anymore. It's kind of what I'm feeling like here. They can't contain it anymore because they've kept it bottled up here. Just like strapped inside, you know, like this person's almost wearing a girdle here, holding it all in. Right? Holding it all in. Yeah, I feel like this person is just, they're, they're wanting to come to you as, as quickly as they can, but... Uh, they they still have some loose ends, I feel, to wrap up over here. And there's still some fighting going on. Like this, uh, you, I don't think you want all of this karma and all of this fighting and negativity to come over to you, right? But they want to. Oh, they want to. They want to come flying in. 
Um, I, I feel like they just can't contain themselves for much longer. They can't. This person could feel fairly um, sexually frustrated as well. I, I sense a lot of frustration in this person's face, like a lot of annoyance. They're very annoyed because they keep still trying to give to, uh, like they're having to keep giving to other people. Like even though they're walking away, maybe they're having to give them some money just to float them or something. I don't know what this is because they're sleeping on somebody's couch and giving away all their resources here. We're leaving that out and watching you and watching you. I What is that all about? Clarify this here. Six of Pentacles for me, please. Clarify this. Yeah, they've been, they've been giving, they've been, let's just say investing, okay? And not just Pentacles. When I say investing, I mean their time, their effort, their energy, their love, their whatever, and their pentacles, okay, to other people that really aren't doing anything for a very long time, a very long time. And I feel like their finances are all dried up. I feel like all, all their money is dried up now. The only thing they have left is this one pentacle here out of, out of six, okay? And they're bringing it to you. They're bringing it to you. I feel like this person is like, um, do I have enough? I, I feel like this person is like, I've given everything to everybody else. I don't have anything else left to offer my cancer. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. I don't have anything left to offer my cancer after giving all of my resources to these other people that are doing nothing, okay? So I feel like you, you could be dealing with a Virgo or um, another Earth sign. I, I feel like um, this person is just, they're hanging their head down in shame, kind of. Like, seriously, that's where this donkey butt comes in, okay? Yeah, they're, they're feeling really foolish here. They waited too long to communicate. They gave all their resources up to other people until that well was freaking bled dry. Bled dry. And now they feel like they don't have enough to come forward with an offer for you. Okay? So this person is kind of like sort of hanging their head down and hiding. They, maybe they're hiding the fact that they don't have... I feel like this person could be low on their pentacles right now because they've invested. Well, not only are they low on their pentacles, but they're low on energy too. They could be suffering health issues as well. Um, you know, and, and they're just exhausted and they're low on pentacles. So they're probably wondering, do I have enough? Do I ha what do I have to offer cancer now after I've just been bled dry? Okay, after I've just been bled dry. That's where this comes in. Feeling very foolish. Because, see, they walked away from your love, too. And not only the, what they have going on over here in this other commitment that bled them dry, but your love is the one that they really want now. And now, after all of this, they feel like, like they don't have enough. They feel very inadequate here, I feel. Very inadequate. And it's all because other people that they were giving to just bled them dry. And they know that you wouldn't have, okay? They know that you wouldn't have done that. Not you, okay? That's what I'm getting off this card. Not you. You wouldn't have done that. I feel like this person trusted you then. Maybe, I don't know what happened, but they, they're, they're thinking they should have trusted you anyway, and they're trusting you more now, and now they're realizing that they missed their chance with an empress, the person that they can't get off their mind, the connection that they can't seem to shake, they want, the one they f feel foolish about leaving in the first place. 
Yeah, they couldn't trust the people that they invested in before because those people, like I said, now your person is completely bled dry and they've got nothing really to offer you. Nothing left. They've been completely drained. And they're like, I don't know if this is enough. I'm going to miss out on my chance. I'm going to miss out. And they're kind of feeling like sort of butthurt over it because th they would have had they would have had a, a lot to offer, you know, or they would have thought they would have had a lot to offer if they didn't give it all away to people that just wanted them for money. You know, here you are, and now they're looking at all of this, right? All the fog is clearing for this person, being pushed back, and they can see all the choices they had. They can see now that you're the one who creates your own abundance, the one they tried to cover up with a dirty sheet. Now they can see it, and that's, that's why they're in this shape, Cancer. They're, they know they freaking missed out on a golden opportunity here, for real. A golden opportunity. That was filled with real love unconditional yeah that's how they're feeling tonight and they're but instead they're out in the cold see they could have been sharing this with you they could be there right now you could they could be having their arms around you and you guys could like embark in this beautiful journey together with all of this abundance that you could create together but no because of their choices, now they're destitute. They followed the wrong person. They're all beat up, bent up, like broken. I don't even, this looks like, like they got hit by a truck. Could be suffering health issues, like I said. Out in the cold, destitute. Very low on pentacles, what did I say? Because they gave it all to this person. See, there's the, the there's one of those blankets. You know? And now they're destitute and now you they they completely realize and you're proving it and you worked for it. You did the work on your own by yourself with the divine after they turned you away. And now you're the most abundant one. Hmm. That, I feel like, is a divine lesson. No one else could teach a lesson like that one. You know? I feel like the situation um, is, has, is probably coming to an end. It's going to be different for all of you. But see, this is the justice in this. Now this person gets to suffer their karma for this. If this situation ends like this, yeah, that's their justice. Being stuck in their mind night after night, losing sleep over this. That's the poetic justice here. They're suffering the same kind of pain that you did when they abandoned you. And that's justice. And that is their karma, and they need to suffer that alone. They need to go through that alone. Because you did. Okay? You know? Meanwhile, they see you. When they close their eyes, they see this. Their happiness, and you being healed, and their wish fulfillment. Mm-hmm. When they lay in bed at night, Cancer, this is what they, they think about. This is what they see. How you have healed and you are their happiness. And how you're getting away. Well, how they let you get away. How's that? How they let you slip away. How they threw you away. What, how they turned you away. However you want to say it. Away, away. Tomato, tomato. Huh? Right? And now, right now, at this point in time, all they can really do right now for tonight, I feel, is just pray. Just pray, man. That they can communicate. That they can try to work out all of this pain that was caused in this third party situation, all that heartbreak. They're praying. Praying. 
because see they know this is poetic justice they can feel that night after night cancer yeah they're praying now all right let's see what this little this little deck here it's it's just a little it's just a little generic game deck that i bought somewhere i don't remember where and um it's very slippery because <laughs> it's brand new and new decks are really hard they're they're really difficult to shuffle so expect it to be like flying all over the place you know but yeah as you can see it is really super slick but um, I just want to see what else what other messages the divine has for us tonight okay what messages do you have regarding the situation in this person I mean this person is kind of going they're going through their karma right now this is their karma okay the, it, now the karma starts so you're going to probably hear a lot more of stuff like this yeah karma this is the drum boom 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 it's like um, a march you know feel like it's it's still like maybe this is the divine saying you still you still have time to try to heal this with this person here but you got to get a move on buddy you've got to get a move on they've got to get up then from this melancholy i'm just going to sit here and pout energy okay all right what else can you show me for this person what else can you show me for cancer's person and the situation situation cancer blue feel like well there's a lot of blue here um, I'm feeling like this is dark not dark but deep in thought deep thoughtful realizing you know like this is realizations this is messages from the divine okay I'm not seeing it as sadness. I'm seeing it as like a, a contemplative color. I feel like your person is contemplating. Look at all the blues we have around, especially around this hermit card. And the healing and thinking about, oh my goodness, I can't believe that cancer was actually the one who's the most abundant and I treated them the worst. Yeah. There's some brown in here too. Brown. <laughs> like this uh, jackbutt, right? Jackbutt. Okay, what can you show me here for cancer? <laughs> Feeling goofy tonight, cancer. Yeah, I feel like um, your person is around somebody who has a crocodile smile or maybe they listen to somebody who had a crocodile smile somebody who smiles at them like a friend you can't trust right clarify the alligator <laughs> clarify the alligator please divine <laughs> this is how I read guys you know I love my flash decks okay I do, I, because I get to have that intuitive freedom, all right, and I get to feel the energy more, so I like it. All right, clarify the alligator, please. I feel like this person building blocks. I feel like there was a, there was someone around your person that could have been a friend, all right. Or acted like a friend or family member that would smile and be very friendly with them but I feel like this person sabotaged this connection okay I feel like they knocked over all of the building blocks yeah maybe even by whipping that tail around when your person wasn't looking I, I feel like somebody sabotaged your connection here a possible friend um, high emphasis on this smile so they could have like said something trash talked you somebody trash talked you somebody who could be a friend of yours even someone trash talked you that either you were trusting or your person was trust, tr trusting and it, it brought down this connection I feel 
What else can you show me here for Cancer's person? What about this alligator? Clarify the alligator in the box again. Clarify the alligator. I just want to see who this person is because I know it was somebody around you that you can trust. Yeah, I know cards are flipped up in my deck. Just ignore them. It's okay. It happens all the time with my flash decks especially. Um, don't worry. Nothing's getting out of place or anything. It's cold feet. Okay, so your person is maybe something that you're, something that a friend said to your person kind of made them nervous about this connection. Okay, it made them not trust this connection and your energy and it 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 uh it trashed the connection. They they got in the way of this connection. This was a friend, someone you thought you could trust but couldn't or someone they thought they could trust but couldn't. It made your person nervous. Whatever it was that they said, they made they made your person very nervous to carry like to go through with the connection. Show me more about that, please. Show me more about that. Please. What messages do you have regarding this for cancer and their person? Cancer and their person. Show me more about this one, this alligator, and what was that? Yeah, it's hidden. That's why it didn't come out. It flipped, though. It just, somebody's hiding something here. Someone's keeping this undercover. Something was told to your person that made them too nervous to go through with this connection. Okay, yeah, anyway. Yeah, someone said something about you. About you, I feel, Cancer. That made your person too nervous to go forward with this connection, and it sabotaged your connection, okay? Um, and this has been, uh, whoever said this, it's being hidden. They're hiding it. They're keeping it undercover. They don't want the secret to get out. Oops. Oops, oops. Sorry, guys. Yeah, now they don't know how to fix it. Okay, they don't know how to fix it. Screwdriver in reverse. Yeah. What else can you show me? Let's get the flash on it. Alright. What else can you show me about this person? And this situation here? Yeah, so just know, I mean... I feel like what what started wrecking this connection was somebody talked about you behind your back and it was a lie. Your person just they I kind of feel get the feeling like they're just growing cold over this. You know. I think everybody is to be honest with you, everybody's growing a little bit cold over this. Somebody out there thinks this is eerie too. I don't know. I just heard that. Thinking this is eerie. <sighs> Maybe it was just something somebody was thinking. Yeah. Uh, your person feels very isolated now. They're isolating themselves, I feel, from from everyone that was in their life, okay? Maybe even the people that talked about you before. These people that you really couldn't trust or they couldn't trust, right? They're looking at all of this. Really taking a good hard look at all of these people that are in their energy. And really questioning their motives at this point, okay? Because I feel like your person now knows that you're proving... In Empress Energy, here you are. In Empress Energy, uh, you are the walking, talking, breathing proof that whatever they said about you was, was just a complete lie. It was a farce. And I feel like your person believed it. It made them very nervous. 
um, and now they're, they're looking at all of this, okay? Um, taking a step back, um, and I feel like they have pulled their energy back from a lot of people in their life, much like you have. See that mirroring energy again, right? Wanting to take or wanting to write a whole new story here, maybe with a whole new friend group, get rid of these crocodile smile people that they can't freaking trust that sabotaged in an absolutely beautiful connection. I think your person can see this. Okay, I think they can clearly see now what the heck is going on. It, I feel like this has been covered up for quite some time. Like, no one has told you about it. This has just been under a rug. It's, there, it's been a secret or something that was, they covered it up. Or covered somebody up. I don't know. But, um, you know, it's all coming to light. And I think this is that, you're going to know. And I, I feel like you already, you're using your intuition to get clarity on something. And I think this is that something. I really have a feeling like these two things are connected. <laughs> like the same thing. Okay. Um, and I, 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 I feel like you know who it is that was running their mouth. And they know who it is that was running their mouth. And they can clearly see now you're proving all of that to be a lie. Every single bit. Your person sees it too. They see it too. But yeah, I feel like this person turned their back on you because somebody told a lie about you. And they believed them. It made them nervous. And, and they abandoned you their possible twin flame. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for your late night love, my darlings. Um, I love you all very, very much. Um, I hope this helps, and I hope it resonates. Um, yeah. Um, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to add to it? But no, I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to sense what I'm talking about. I feel like you know what I'm talking about here. So anyway, guys, listen, um, thank you so much. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. And um, until next time, Cancers, take care of you and good night.